Last night, 73 strikes on 60 targets at 16 Iranian-backed Houthi rebel militant locations in Yemen. These are in retaliation for the attacks on commercial shipping in the Red Sea that began by uh, the Houthis group on uh, commercial vessels as well as uh, U.S. military vessels, U.K. vessels, and other countries' vessels in response to, they say, they are standing uh, with the, the Gazans in response to uh, the Israeli response to the attack on October 7th. So there's that connection all the way back to what happened in Israel and Israel's ongoing response to uh, the Hamas atrocities of October 7th. But they were not, again, just firing at Israel. They were firing at uh, commercial shipping, uh, some U.S. shipping, some other international shipping. I want to give you a little bit of an education on who we're dealing with there. The Houthis are also known as Ansar Allah, which means supporters of God. It's an armed group that controls most of the populated areas of Yemen. It's only about a third of the landscape. The Houthis emerged in the 1990s. They, at that time, they had a, just a couple of thousand members, but rose to prominence in 2014 when the group rebelled against Yemen's government. So it was an internal civil war that was going on there, causing it, the government to step down and sparkling, uh, sparked a huge humanitarian crisis. The group then spent years with Iran's backing. Again, folks, this is all coming out of Iran, fighting a military coalition led by Saudi Arabia in the Yemen civil war. So the Houthis and Saudi Arabia have been in conflict. By the numbers, the Houthis are the are the only proxy of the Islamic Republic that have both land attack cruise missiles and medium range ballistic missiles. So that means their munitions are much higher than the other groups backed by Iran. Um, I won't get into the particulars on the what they have. They have drones, which they're using as well. The standing army, and there's no direct number on this, but it is estimated to be between 50,000 and 150,000 soldiers. So this is a sophisticated military that has been doing these actions against the United States, Jordan. Yeah, they've continued uh, to expand. I mean, when they were initially a, a rebel group of 1,000 uh, who was against the y Yemen government, the Yemeni government, and Yemen has basically been a failed state and is still in a in a civil war. The civil war is, is not yet over. They have a separate governing body of the territories that the Houthis don't control. But this time around, uh, rather than uh, focusing their attention internally, they have decided to go external. Again, uh, to use the term that uh, Mike Pompeo used, uh, these are just, again, contract uh, terror groups for Iran. This attack that was just launched by the U.S. and the U.K., has the risk of of pushing us into a greater conflict uh, because this administration is incapable uh, and inept and they don't put the interests of our country security and the American people first. So if we go back to 2021, when the Biden administration took the Houthi terrorist group off of the terrorist list, you look at the Biden administration gifting Iran with over $6 billion dollars claiming that, oh, they're only going to use this for humanitarian interests when everyone knows that Iran was using that money and is using that money to continue to fund these proxy groups like the Houthis and Hamas and others. And you look at the, the way that this administration forecasted this attack over the last few weeks, putting it out there in broad daylight that they were going to be launching this attack, which gave the Houthis the ability to go and stockpile and 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 put their sensitive systems and their weapon systems in a place where the administration would not be able to actually affect, achieve the kinds of effects that they claim to be trying to do, which is to damage the Houthis' ability to keep attacking these ships uh, and attacking a global commerce, essentially, in the Red Sea. Look at the past. Saudi Arabia, with a lot of U.S. support, and yeah. by the way, with no authorization from Congress, support, uh, worked with Saudi Arabia in their war against the Houthis, which started in 2014. That war was waged for over 10 years. Guess who won? The Houthis won. Sadly, with the cost of hundreds of thousands of innocent Yemeni civilians' lives, but it ended only recently in a ceasefire that the Houthis negotiated uh, the, with the Yemeni government and, and, uh, the, and Saudi Arabia. My point is, for leaders in Washington to think that going and launching attacks against the Houthis, as happened yesterday, is going to deter the Houthis. I don't know. Maybe they believe Santa Claus is real. One mistake. 
and and we've got a powder keg that that is already affecting our global economy. Yeah. One mistake here, and 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 we can have a mess. Like we said, they're the only uh, terror group linked to Iran that has these intercontinental bullet, ballistic exactly missiles. We're exactly right. If you don't have a plan going into a battle, and she would know better than any yeah, of us, if you don't have a plan going into a battle, it does not end well. And that's especially, and I think it's you put that on steroids when it's the Middle East. We know the president isn't talking to the Secretary of Defense. That's for sure.